As our regular viewers may recall, last year we spoke to Sarah Merrick, CEO and founder of Ripple Energy, about their groundbreaking business proposition to create the world's first publicly owned cooperative wind turbine. And earlier this year, we braved the elements to see the turbine being constructed in Greg Father in South Wales. Well, I'm delighted to welcome Sarah back to the studio today to find out how things have been going since we last spoke. So, hi Sarah, welcome back to the show. Now, before we go into your latest developments, can you, can you, for people who may not have seen you on the show before, can you just explain what Ripple is, what you're doing and what you've achieved? Yeah, so, so Ripple enables individual households and businesses to own tiny parts of large scale wind farms, potentially solar parks too, and then get the green low cost electricity that their wind farm generates supplied to their home or business by the grid. So our whole mission is to make clean energy ownership affordable and accessible for everyone. So last time we spoke, we were at the construction stage of your first turbine. So how, how has that gone? Our first project, it's Greg Vather in South Wales. That's a single turbine that is funded it's owned by 900 people. It's now built and operational. And those 900 people that own it are getting savings on their electricity bill. Because we came to see that when it was being built, it was really exciting. It turned on, it's generating power. So those people are seeing actual reductions effectively, because this is like at the moment, way more important than it was even when I last spoke to you. It's become a really big issue. Uh, so they're actually seeing costs off their electricity bill. Exactly. So, so over the last four months, they've saved around about £100 each off, off their electricity bill. So you just get your, on my octopus bill, I get my ripple saving, my electricity and, and, and my gas um, bill as well. So it's just a single line on your bill every month. Really simple. So the more you buy, the more of the wind farm you own, the more of the electricity you get. And so the bigger your savings are. If you only own a little bit, then your savings will be um, smaller too. So can you give us some idea of what the turbine has generated to date? Yeah, so over the first four months, it's generated nearly 2,000 megawatt hours. Um, so that's enough to meet the electricity needs of around 670 households for a whole year. Um, and it's saved around 260,000 kilograms of CO2 because every single megawatt hour is zero carbon. So I'm pretty sure there's multiple benefits to, to, to this project. Yes, yeah, so obviously all the 900 members, they have directly enabled Craig Bather to be built and it will then be generating green electricity for the grid for, for 25 years. So every single member can see on their dashboard how much their individual bit of the wind farm is generating in real time. So it's a fantastic thing to be able to see how much it's generating and you can also see how much you're using as well. So it links through to your smart meter. Right, but to go from 900 in the first one, which I would imagine was that was the big step to get to from no people to 900 would be a big step, but clearly to go from 900 to five thousand yeah it's been much quicker it has so, so, so for the first bit it was 900 um we got those customers in about 13 months whereas then we got five and a half thousand in about 10 weeks so there's a really really rapid um growth in, in customers all right so as we all know electricity prices have really increased <laughs> terrifyingly recently i mean what what are the effects of the uh, on your customers of those very high markets spikes with ripple our customers basically get their electricity from their wind farm at its low and stable operating cost and the difference between that and the market price is applied as a saving to their bill so at the moment they're saving nearly 10p a kilowatt hour for every bit of electricity they get from the wind farm however we fixed the price in late 2021 since then prices have gone even higher so in year two the second year of generation they could be saving potentially two or three times that amount because the price has gone up um, by such a large amount. So does that mean then that the payback time that, the, that your members will get has, has shortened because of the increased energy prices? Yeah, potentially. So if prices stay high, it could, the payback could be as short as six years, potentially e e even shorter, whereas the wind farm is going to last for 25 years. So they'll get savings for that 25 year um, lifetime, but their initial um, purchase of the wind farm could be paid back in, in a much, much shorter amount of time. I mean, do, do the old Ripple members actually tell you why they've, they've joined up? Yes, so, 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 so most members join for a combination of they, they want to act on climate change in a really, really genuine way. But then also the bill savings means that it's just a really good, you know, financially sound thing to do as well. So it, it's a combination of the two factors. So obviously I was there at the, during the construction period of, of Greg Father, but what have you been up to since that? Yes, yeah, so since then we've um, launched and funded a second wind farm, that's Kirk Hill in Scotland, that's eight turbines instead of just a single turbine at, at Greg Vather. Um, so that's about to start construction in early September um, and that will then start generating, um, it's used to start generating in late 
next year um, and then we are that, that that project has got um, 5,600 owners as well as 19 businesses so it's not just for households we're now getting businesses involved as well. Wow and that's a big jump uh, and what have Cooperatives UK said about this? So Cooperatives UK have said that Kirkhill was actually the largest ever single equity crowdfunding raise for a co-op in the UK history so the co-op raised 13 million pounds for that project which is just amazing. So a ripple looking at any other technologies other than wind uh, for future projects? Absolutely. So, so, so we're not just about wind. We're looking actively at solar projects as well. So basically we, we work with any fuel free technology. So we're also looking at potentially offshore wind. Um, but, but, but yeah, so our third project, it could be solar, it could be another wind farm. Um, there are a number of different options we're looking at at the moment. Because I mean, I guess there's, I mean, I know of a lot of people who'd love to put solar panels on their house, but just, the roof just isn't suitable. So this is a really good alternative to to having something strapped to your own house. It, it, exactly. So if your roof's not suitable or you rent or you live in a flat, you can still own your own source of clean power. But also loads of our members have got rooftop solar as well. So it's a really good complement. You can have solar for your summer generation and then your wind farm will meet your win winter generation. So it, they work really, really well together. Well, I'm sure there's a lot of our viewers uh, uh, from the Fully Charged Show audience are going to be really interested in finding out more about Ripple Energy. Where should they go to do that? So people can go to rippleenergy.com and there they can reserve a place in our next wind farm and, or solar park. And then as soon as it's um, open, they then get priority access ahead of everyone else. And we've had loads of our members have already found out about us through Fully Charged, which is just absolutely amazing. Oh, that's fantastic to hear. Well, thanks so much, Sarah, for, for coming in and, and getting up to speed on what you're doing. I think it's a fantastic project. So thanks for coming along. Now, you may be asking, why are opportunities like this so important? Well, with energy prices soaring and net zero emission targets looming, we all need to do whatever we can to use renewables and keep our hard-earned cash in our own pockets. Energy projects like these from Ripple really do give us all the chance to not only join like-minded souls, but it's also the chance to make a long-lasting environmental impact. So please do check out all the links to Ripple Energy in the description box below. And you can also like and subscribe to this channel. It really does help us to continue to produce more great shows like this. And as always, if you have been, thanks for watching.